Hey, welcome back. It's Costa Cubicle. As you've noticed, we got a new intro. I'm going to be honest, when I started this video today, I wasn't looking to make a, a stupid little edit, but the cat made me cackle. What about you? Let me know in the comment of tonight's video. Tonight, it's a little different. Uh, I want to hit two separate videos. First, trail cams uh, that are supposed to be catching cryptids. Um, and then area 51 leaked footage. So it's going to be, it's going to be a wild night. Um, again, if you're new here, thank you so much for showing up. And at the end of the video, if you like what you saw tonight, please like comment, let me know what you liked. subscribe and maybe turn on that little notification bell to stay informed when we come out with goofy shit like this. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for all the continued support. I appreciate it. And uh, since we switched our content, we've gained a couple of new members to the community. So thank you. Welcome. Um, you can reach me directly at Caustic Cubicle on Twitter. So feel free. If you have any suggestions for future videos or live streams that I plan on starting, um, let me know there. Without further ado, let's get into it. Dangerous here. Oh, you get back. A giant humanoid. In a terrifying encounter in Alberta, Canada, a man captured a video that appears to unveil an enormous creature, potentially belonging to a tribe of colossal beings native to the region, leisurely walking atop of a mountain without any visible means of support. The shadowy figure is of such immense size that it was noticed by two individuals during their usual commute. A multitude of individuals are now filled with curiosity, questioning the validity of the legends surrounding giants in this area. Could it be that there's something far more sinister lurking with the... So, I've seen this, and I'm sure a lot of you have, especially if you follow, like, spooky things on TikTok and conspiracy theories. So, a um, little backstory. I don't know if he's going to cover everything, but this man uh, recorded... Stuff pertaining to that mountaintop two or three different times. Uh, at one point, he claims that there was like a military installation put up there within a matter of like two weeks or something. And after he posts live, he like comes out a little while later, says that like people have been stalking him and uh, <clears throat> like government officials or something, the MIB, CIA, something. And then he abruptly posts a video saying that he made it all up. And, and then he died. He's dead. He, he disappeared and then he was found dead under mysterious circumstances or something. It's pretty wild. Then the mysterious Alberta mountains. The Rake. The Rake is a popular creepy urban legend, similar to Slender Man, about a humanoid creature that attacks people. In a video posted by a man on July 25th, 2011, filmed near the Hudson Bridge, he heard strange noises on his roof and decided to go check out what was happening while recording it all. While exploring, he unexpectedly falls off the roof, even though he was not injured or anything. The footage revealed a terrifying creature staring what back at him fuck? later, leaving us all to imagine, was that really a rake? Hello? It kind of oh looked like that old... Uh... A scary like, ghost. I think it was called the Woody Allen Let's doll. check out this clip captured on a home security camera outside a house. You can hear faint footsteps before a blurry figure appears and moves across the screen. Since the video quality is poor, it's hard to make out any details. Is it a prowler, or could it be something paranormal? Upon closer inspection, the figure seems to briefly disappear when it reaches the center of the screen. This leaves us wondering if it's just a camera glitch or if there's something more sinister going on. Someone behind the tree. This video was recorded by a group of friends who were looking for ghosts and other unusual beings, and other unusual beings they thought that would be present there. And that's exactly what they happened to come across. They were hearing strange noises, and when they went deeper into the forest to investigate, they saw a weird creature staring at them from behind the tree. As soon as they spotted it, it disappeared. Oh shit. A black thing. 
A weird black smoke-like being is what appears in this video. And this happened when an arrest was going on in Florida. Neither the police officers nor the other man had any idea about it. They remained the oblivious jokes. to the thing, but the guy reporting it was surely freaked out. A strange monkey. background. Riding through the peaceful forest, a lone biker suddenly comes across a strange and mysterious creature. As a cyclist gets closer to a narrow trail surrounded by tall walls, a weird and otherworldly being jumps down from the wall and almost crashes into the biker. Surprised, CGI. the cyclist stops that, to look for the creature, but it has no. disappeared without a trace. <clears throat> because of its strange look and incredible speed, it's hard to figure out exactly what this creature could be. Animals reacting to reflections There was a French photographer who decided to set up a camera and a big mirror in the middle of the jungle. He wanted to see how the animals would react to their own reflections. And guess what? It turned out way crazier than he expected. The leopard couldn't get enough of itself. The gorilla saw it as a chance to have a fight with its own reflection. And the elephant didn't really care much. But the <laughs> chimpanzees, oh boy, they had a blast checking themselves out while scratching. A trespassing bear. Kind of lighthearted, I like that. In this funny incident, a bear trespassed onto someone's property at night and tried to snack on some chickens. It attempted to break into the chicken coop, but got startled by a strange voice and decided to run away as fast as possible. Turns out, the owner, Haley, woke up in the middle of the night and shouted at the bear from a window to scare it off. Hellhound. Showing up on the first page of Google might not be the best for everyone. Now, let's talk about hellhounds. These supernatural dogs are supposed to guard the gates of hell. Ancient Greece had stories about them, including one about a three-headed dog named Cerebus. Legend has it Cerberus. that if you look into its eyes three times or more, you'll drop dead on the spot. In this video from the TV show Mountain Monsters, they claim to have captured a real-life hellhound. The host interviewed a guy who said he caught the elusive creature on tape. The footage shows a black four-legged beast. People all over the world are going crazy over it, wondering if this video is legit or not. So it kind of looked a little bit like CGI, but I remember a few years back, um, somebody put to bed the the old legend that Black Panthers existed in the Appalachia Mountains um, by catching one. Um, so now it's it's a fact now. I mean, so if, if you're unaware, mountain lions, cougars, Black Panthers, they're all used to describe basically the same animal um, or the same family of cat, right? Uh, but Black Panthers, it's always been like a, an old wives tale that you could find them in the woods of the United States. But they did find them. And that looked to me like a Black Panther, um, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think would be, that would be equally as terrifying at least you know black panthers are real uh <laughs> so so you know you're fixing to get scalped you're fixing to get fucked pretty hard if you come into contact with a panther in the forest billy you know those mythical creatures called centaurs they're like humans with a horse's body well check out this newborn goat from argentina it has a face that looks human when the folks in the town saw it, they thought something magical must that's, have been involved in its I wouldn't birth. Say magical. Some that's say it's just up, a weird dude. birth effect, but most people are calling it a real-life centaur. We've seen some bizarre animal videos on the internet, but nothing quite like this goat with a human-like face. Montauk Monster In July 2008, in New York, two friends were out to take... So the Montauk monster is believed to have washed up from a bio biochemical weapons facility that we had on an island off of Long Island. Um, the The lab is also they they're responsible or, or they're being held responsible for genetically modified ticks. Um, it's believed that that's where the Lyme disease had come from as ticks getting off the island on a flock of geese. Um, but the rumor is that the Montauk monster, the, uh, the abomination that washed up on shore, it's very possible that it came from this island. Take a walk along the shore, not knowing what was about to come next. 
Lying a few feet away was a dead creature that no one had ever seen before. It was the size of a small dog, a beak like a chicken and a tail again like a dog. It was hairless but had small patches of hair on it. They posted the picture they took later on the internet and everyone was left shocked with not even a single person giving a logical explanation. A Super Goat have you ever seen a super buff goat? If you haven't, we're about to show you something awesome. So this guy was out hiking in the mountains, bear. just enjoying nature and all that. And guess what he stumbled upon? This seriously ripped goat. Fucking he knew goat he had to capture based. it on his phone and share it with everyone. Fucking and guess Sigma what? Goats, bro. The video went crazy viral on Twitter, racking up a whopping 4 million views. People couldn't help but be amazed by the goat's incredible physique. An unknown He's built different. At first, I thought it was just a large beaver, but then it started moving, and that was just as weird as anything can be. This video was recorded by a man from a very safe distance. It even looked like the creature didn't even notice someone recording it, or maybe it did and just wanted to move away. Still, the fact that the creature didn't attack the man and went on its way is something to be considered here. Something on the road. These men were just having fun on their way home. One of their friends even started walking on his own and didn't sit in the car. But after a minute, they saw him running back towards the car, all terrified. And as the car moved forward, everyone could see why that was. A weird creature sat on the road, crawling creepily towards one side. What was that? No one could tell. Just an animal stuck in a bush or something else. A close call. I wish, like in some of this these, this guy was out in the wilderness filming in. a video, just minding his own business. When all of a sudden, he sees something bolting towards him like a bat out of hell. And guess what? It's a freaking mountain lion. Yeah, you heard me right. This guy is staring down a big, wild apex predator. But you know what's even crazy? Yeah. Um. So, fun fact. Maybe this will come in handy sometime if you find yourself on the trails. Um, any wildcat, especially mountain lions or cougars, um, if you come in contact with one, never try to run. They're going to outrun you and maintain eye contact with it because just like when you're playing with your cat and when you round the corner and then you come back, they're frozen, but they're a little closer. Um, they are stalking predators. So the moment you take your eyes off of it until you know it is for sure gone, um, the moment you take your eyes off of it, it's going to attack you or it's going to get out of sight so it can continue to stalk you. Um, that's terrifying. As Just keep your eyes on the kitty cat, but don't pet it. Crazier, he manages to narrowly escape like a boss. This dude had a seriously close call. No, you sh taste, dude. But he lives to tell the tale, and we're all glad he made it out in one piece. He's throwing a temper tantrum. Weird it creature like. in woods. Well, on their routine bike ride along steep tracks, a group of bikers encountered a terrifying experience that would haunt them forever. As they ventured deeper into the forest, a strange humanoid creature suddenly emerged from the side of the track and quickly started running away. The sight <laughs> of the creature caused one of the bikers to lose control and fall off his bike. Shocked, the biker with the camera attempted to chase after the creature, but to his surprise, it vanished into thin air, leaving him bewildered. An unusual friendship. An incredible video aired on an Indian news channel featuring the most mind-blowing thing ever. A leopard visited a cow every night and they had their own secret friendship going on while the human snoozed. Upon investigation, it was discovered that the cow had taken care of the leopard when it was a baby. And now the leopard was not ready to let go of its caregiver. How sweet is that? That makes sense. That makes sense. A dinosaur Nurture over nature. Even though the video is made by an amateur and we don't know who made it, it's perfect for our list. Can you imagine that there's a pterosaur flying in the sky? We know about no. pterosaurs because of fossils and movies, but we can't see them anymore. But some lucky people saw one and filmed it. I'm happy we have the video. Do you think it's real or just for attention? It's, it's just for attention, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, so, when the majority of the dinosaurs, or things that resemble dinosaurs, existed, our atmosphere had way more oxygen in it. Um, and in some cases, way less oxygen in it. But our atmospheric composition 
isn't enough to support the lung structure of prehistoric animals. This is why it's been so hard to get any um, any kind of dinosaur replication to survive past the hatching stage. And they have done this. I don't know if anybody remembers this, but back in the early 2000s, they talked about it a lot. I think it was Australia. They found out if you deny a certain protein or give a certain protein for a little bit longer to a chicken egg while it's developing into a chick, instead of feathers, it'll grow scales and its spinal column will extend into the tail and it basically will take on the traits of its prehistoric version. It's, you know, it's raptor-like uh, traits. But what they found was it can't breathe our atmosphere. Um, it, it dies. 10 out of 10 times. It dies. So, <clears throat> call them bullshit. Found a fake. Can't get it past Cossack, baby. An embarrassed gator. Most folks would bolt to the side of an alligator, but not these guys. This couple not only keeps one as a pet, but also knows how to make it blush. When the gator struggled to chomp down some grub, it got bashful and decided to give up and take a dip in the water <laughs> Oh, you instead. made him shine. Aw, oh, poor fella. An unknown critter. Teasing some friends water, thought puppy. it'd be a good idea to go check out an abandoned house, which was also famous for being haunted. Upon going inside, they examined everything, including the pool area and other areas, when they heard creepy noises. As the camera moved towards the direction of the voices, a weird creature came into view, half sitting on the roof. As soon as it spotted the guys, it moved onto the roof, and that's when the men ran out of the house, and the video ended. We've seen this one. That's Having the trouble selling your e. books? Other gurus From only the, show you how to up, publish remember? a book, and then you end up like this. I think that was a the... Dragon. The if you think dragons only exist in movies, you will find yourself having was, second thoughts after watching this video. clip. It shows a huge dragon-like creature flying in the sky. Apparently, it was recorded somewhere in England and left viewers in shock considering its size. You think it's real or just a fake? Don't forget to let us know in the comments. Wing flaps a little aliens more real, and I'll believe it. This video was recorded on a trail <laughs> camera in 2019 in Brazil. While the man said his camera had never before captured something so strange, it was an alien-like figure that appeared this time on it. The creature looked like it was trying to inspect the camera and what it does. I've also However, heard some this people an also claimed the alien was being caught chair, by the authorities, so. but they never told anyone about the, it. The story's made up. Someone in the cave. A woman was out there exploring the mountains when she decided to go inside a cave she saw and inspect it thoroughly. A short while after going deeper into the cave, she saw a weird white creature. The figure seemed very odd. It appeared to be scaling the walls or something and did not come near the woman, even though she stood there for a few minutes. What exactly was that? Well, there's no answer to that. <coughs> a ghost man. This guy, let's call him a mystery man or a superhero, doesn't really matter what you label him because his moves are straight up mind blowing. He zooms around at super speed, grabs that little girl and whisks her away to safety in just a few seconds. Anyone who watches that video is left dumbfounded by his sudden burst of courage. But before you can even wrap your head around what just went down, the heroes already vanished into thin air, leaving everyone in awe and wondering what the heck just happened. A ghost. Out in the woods, two friends were with their dogs when they happened to capture a real ghost while filming their cute little doggo. The ghost boy appears in the top left corner of the screen and then vanishes into thin air in a second. The boys mentioned that they had been going into the woods for quite some time and had never seen anything like that before. It, oh, it kind of just looked like, to me, to me, it kind of just looked like they had somebody in the distance that were walking by when they were filming, like somebody they were probably with, but the, the HD quality is so low in that. It definitely looked like 480p, but um, <clears throat> my bigger question is, why is there a ghost just chilling in the woods? Like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Seem to be grasping at straws here. Uh, shout out, by the way. This channel is called Trail Captures, as you can see in the bottom left corner there. Um, they are pretty good. I do enjoy watching their videos as well. So, again, if you like them, maybe go check it out for yourself. This is a three-hour video, as you can see. Just over three hours. 
we're not watching we're not watching three hours worth of this. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you want to trail captures, uh, go subscribe, like, comment, tell them you like their stuff if you like it. Absolutely. This motion-activated trail cam was triggered when a bear came nearby, and as the flashlight turned on, the bear's eyes turned into two glowing eyes. The bear seemed pretty annoyed by the light and appeared to be saying something before it went off screen after a few minutes. Regardless of what others say, those two hungry eyes are the most terrifying, especially if it was a person there rather than the camera. Batman. What will happen if you're going Batman. somewhere and you see this sitting on a tree branch right in front of you? Won't you be scared as hell? Well, so were these people yes. who actually if, saw if it. If that was and real, as soon as the I car believe from which they for were a second it was real, near, I would have shit away. my pants. Now, I know most of you would say it is but fake, but let's say it's I not. Wouldn't yeah. that be frightening? Just would have been a soupy mess. Alien. Whoa. This woman was out in the woods when she heard weird noises. Curious, she had to go see what it was. So she turned her camera on and went towards the place the noises were coming from. And that is when this creature appeared from behind the Okay, tree. that's CGI. Was it an alien or was it but someone in again, a weird alien costume? Shit my pants. No one could tell. That reminds me abruptly ended without us re That reminds me of the aliens from the M Night Shyamalan movie uh Sha Signs. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Shyamalan Shyamalan. M Night Shyamalan. Um Signs with Mel Gibson. <clears throat> when they finally show him at the end, like in passing on the news and stuff. That's what that reminds me of. Um, so again, it's one of those things. If I if it's not real, that was clearly CGI. But if it was real, alien or not, just thing, person dressed up that way, I would have had a fucking heart attack. I would have cardiac arrested. <sighs> Reaching any conclusions. A giant. It looks like a giant with a sharp weapon or something in his hand. <laughs> it kind of looks like somebody in like a giant Winnie the Pooh costume. Any. But wait, giants aren't real, right? Or maybe they are. Maybe Jesus we just don't Christ. know much about them. With so many weird things happening, anything can be possible. A weird deer. While a man was busy recording a deer who appeared to be scared of him at first, but then suddenly stopped as if it was scared of something and then turned back and went hopping away beside the man. He was all confused, just like anyone would be. But then he saw something that scared him too. A deer emerged from the bushes with a deformed neck. Or was it a skinwalker? Oh, he's all Because that's up. what most people said. I bet you he a got smacked attack. by that car down Some the road. friends were out having a bonfire and enjoying the night when they started hearing... Deer are crazy, man. Um, a lot of times... Deer are super resilient for the first few minutes, and I don't know if you've ever had the situation where you've hit a deer or know somebody who's hit a deer at, like, mock Jesus going down the highway, and the deer should have never gotten back up, but they'll still get up and jump off the road. Yeah, nine times out of ten, those deer die after they leave the road. Uh, snap necks, everything. The, the adrenaline, the sheer adrenaline in their bodies will keep them alive for several minutes to even hours after the impact. And it's terrifying. It is absolutely terrifying. Weird noises coming from the woods. One of them decided to be brave and go and check, while others were there recording him. And this is when this happened. Even though they immediately ran to save their friend, we have no idea what happened afterwards as the video abruptly ended. <laughs> you got jaw glowing eyes. What will you do if there is a scary noise coming out of your roof? We go check it out like this man did, and there he ended up seeing a creature on the roof with its eyes glowing like some kind of demon. Or was it really the demon? No one could tell as the creature disappeared, leaving the man too shocked and scared to do anything. I hope he left the country the next day because the creature looked like it might love to follow him around. A Gray Man There was a place where locals kept seeing strange things and weird creatures in the woods, but no one believed them until they hid themselves there with cameras and recorded this little gray man going about his usual life in the woods. It stood there for a few seconds until it sensed humans nearby and went away from where it came from, leaving us with hundreds of questions but no one to get answers from. A dwarf. <laughs> this happened in a small town I don't, in Mexico. Let dude, I haven't seen the any of these. That's like, I, 
I swear to God, like Skyrim mods have better skin textures than a lot of these supposed trail cam or found footage videos. And they're just an absolute joy to watch. I absolutely love it because it is such bullshit. Town is famous for its unusual happenings. In this video, we see a man first playing with his dog, and then he moved the camera to a little girl who was just going about her business. And that is when a tiny creature appeared on the screen, making <laughs> the girl scream in fear and run away. And that's where the video ended. Elf on a shelf, bro. A witch. Unlike most of the videos in today's list, this one was recorded in a home where three guys were talking while lightly playing with a ball. And that is when a short ball. black witch-like thing ball appeared likely. out of nowhere and went past them in a hurry, which scared the boys quite a lot. When it was uploaded on the internet, some said it was definitely a witch, while others couldn't help but think it was a fake video. A tiny creature. And this one is a very short video, but creepy nonetheless. While the little kid enjoyed her swing, we see a tiny creature running from somewhere behind her. Was it a dwarf, or a ghost, or something more mischievous and scary? I guess we will never know. An unknown person. A man was out driving at night to get to his home, and while he was halfway through, he saw something quite creepy. A woman dressed in fancy clothing was walking on the road. Since she was too far, we can't clearly make out of her dressing, but that's what the man said. Even though he stood there for a few minutes, the woman did not come near. She just kept walking in that area. A scary cemetery. What if you were in a cemetery visiting a loved one and you encountered a weird man who disappeared behind a pole? Well, that's exactly what happened to this man. And he approached the spot to see where the man had gone, but no one was there. So he hurried back home with a thousand questions swirling in his mind and a great deal of fear in his heart. A spy gorilla. Trail cameras mounted on trees recording animals is an old thing now. Spy cameras dressed and set as actual animals is the new thing now. And we see that in this video, which shows a spy gorilla camera in action. At first, the clan thought it to be weird and had to do a little inspection before they made the decision that the gorilla is no harm. So they'll let it stay. And that's when the camera recorded the beautiful moments of the gorilla family. Bath time. Eagles are usually caught on camera fighting each other or hunting snakes, or things like that. It is rather unusual to see an eagle enjoying a relaxing bath with no one around. The footage was recorded on a trail I mean, camera. You can't even get clean without somebody peeping on you the now. The temperature was a little too much for the eagle to deviate from its usual routine and have a nice bath first. Oh, Even freedom's got to be fresh, bro. That's an innovation occasion. I'm good. Piebald fawn. For those who don't know, piebald deer are deer that have blotches of white coloration on portions of their hide that are usually dark in color, and they are quite rare to encounter in the wild. However, this trail camera succeeded in capturing one in 2021, and the owner was just too happy and excited not to share it online. Of course, he had to let others know about it. An attack on trail camera. This video was recently recorded on May 17, 2023 and showed a creature attacking the trail camera, which was doing nothing to offend that thing so much. When uploaded online, people said that it must be a Sasquatch, as the creature made sure the camera did not catch its face or anything, and kept attacking it from the left side. It's like a bear ear. Turkey Vulture Rice Vultures are known for being epic scavengers, but what this trail camera recorded was a little unusual and somewhat terrifying. These two turkey vultures were spotted having a fight, which did not last long, but looked just as deadly as anything can be. With such a short clip, we couldn't get the whole view or any kind of context as to why these two were having a fight. A surprise. A man who set up a trail cam- I just want to say that uh, this was initially supposed to be cryptids caught on camera, and somehow I went down a rabbit hole while researching for this video. And it's slowly turning into catching like rare wildlife in certain areas type deal. And I'm here for it. I, I fucking love animals. So I am here for it. Let me know if you like this video. Um, yeah, it's not as exciting as our, um, our debunk casual runs. But I'm here for it, man. I love me some, I'm going to call them marbled deer because I don't remember what it was called.
camera in different places in the woods near his home, decided to have a little surprise for all the animals. More deer. He put bunny bears everywhere, and then waited until the animals came and had little interactions with the bunnies. The raccoons loved it, porcupines loved it, and even bears loved their gift. They all had cute little interactions with the gift the man had given them. A ghost dog. This seven second long video shows a girl having fun with her dog, and the guy recording them. But was that a dog that was following her? And was it the same dog that appeared from the right side? This might be the most confusing clip I have ever seen. And yeah, it does look like the dog that was following her at first might be a ghost dog. Or was that a glitch in the matrix? Goblin Cat Cats come in many different shapes and sizes, but this one truly is very unique and weirder than all others. The long legs and the small <laughs> face. Is it some kind of disease the cat has? Or is it's it ugly something fucking else? Cat, bro. <laughs> People call it the Goblin Cat and think that it was a result of some kind of genetic mutation. And considering the things that have been happening these days, anything can be possible. Californian Coast Mermaid In the video, we can see the mermaid swaying its tail in an impressive way. The tail movement confirms that it's a real mermaid, and not a person wearing a mermaid tail, as no one can shake a fake tail that skillfully. The video is a bit blurry, but I believe it's genuine and not some Where edited nonsense you people post the on social body media. Parts. There's plenty of evidence supporting the existence of this species, and I genuinely think they exist, but we humans still need to uncover their secret hiding spots. Dancing Bear When a wildlife channel placed cameras in the jungle, their goal was to capture footage of animals being themselves. What they didn't expect was to witness bears shaking their behinds and moving like Shakira in the woods. Just like us humans, bears get itchy <laughs> sometimes. But it looks like he's us, itching. They scratch their backs one. on trees. And, two, and they I'm I'm absolutely loving the super aggressive like tone he's taking when trying to convey that there is going to be a bear scratching his ass and dancing on a tree <laughs> like the dancing bear. <laughs> I'm having a good time. They absolutely love doing it. I mean, look at them. A woman stabbing herself. Yeah. You won't believe what I just saw in this video. So it was late at night, and this guy was driving his usual route when he came across something super creepy. He was like, nope, I'm turning back and getting out of here. There Open was this the ghostly out. woman in the middle of the road holding a knife, and she was actually stabbing herself. Can you imagine? What would you do if you witnessed that? Mermaid on the Dock Imagine there's a dock and out of nowhere a mermaid shows up. She looks all confused, swimming back and forth like she's trying to find her way to the water. But here's the strange part. There were people around, and they didn't do anything. I mean, come on, if I saw a mermaid, I'd be freaking out. You'd think so- Because it was for clout. Because it was a setup. It was a theatric, and they knew. That's why they didn't do anything. Don't want to mess up the shot. That's why they're all there. Also, I, I want to just say this. You can call that a mermaid if you want, but let's just entertain the, the idea that that was a real creature. If something washed on sh up on shore that looked like that and it was flopping around, would you fucking do anything to help it? No, you'd probably film it too. You'd probably go live and ask everybody what the fuck that is. Someone would have called the authorities or something. Now, there's a big debate about whether this video is real or edited. Nobody really knows for sure. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Everybody knows. Dobby. Imagine if the magical world from the books and movies were actually real. Well, after watching this video of a creature that looks just like Dobby, I can't help but wonder if there's a hidden realm of magic out there that we humans don't know about. This creature was doing some kind of funky dance with its thin legs. And trust me, it definitely wasn't a human or some kid doing a chicken dance. That was definitely a kid doing a, a chicken witch. dance. What are you fucking talking about, this Trail This spooky captured? video was recorded in Mexico in 2006. You can see a mysterious figure flying through the sky on a broomstick. Some people think it's a witch. The locals have been talking about these witches for ages, but nobody had any see proof until this footage bro. was taken. The witch's flight looks a bit shaky, so maybe she's a new witch still practicing her flying skills. Man vanished. This ring camera recorded a man walking on the street at night. 
but just after a few seconds, he appeared to have vanished in thin air. It was in the middle of the camera's view, so we cannot say that he may have walked to the edge of the view. Now, how did this happen and who exactly was the man? This answer remained unknown as the woman whose camera recorded it said she had never seen him before. A Brave Mongoose Prepare to be amazed by this wild encounter. So, a lion comes across a mongoose and decides to have some fun with it. The poor mongoose gets caught, but it refuses to give up. It keeps trying to escape, even though the lion is determined to keep it as a plaything. This back and forth goes on for minutes, and just when it seems like the mongoose is done for, the lion gets distracted by another lion. That's the mongoose's chance to make a break for it. Fighting Pandas <laughs> In this video, two big pandas are fighting like crazy, and it's leaving us all shocked and confused. Normally, these gentle creatures are all about munching on bamboo, playing around, and doing cute somersaults. But it turns out, even pandas can get feisty sometimes. We don't really know why they suddenly got so aggressive. So what a lot of people tend to forget is that pandas are bears. Like, forget about the panda part for a second. We have completely, we've made them cute and cuddly things, and in reality, they're not. They are bears, just like the grizzly and the polar, and maybe they're not as aggressive. They're more docile, like the, the you know, like the North American black bear. Um, <clears throat> but they are bears. They are fucking predators. Um, so, yeah. They're dangerous, and they, they get aggressive, and they do fight. Um, also, uh, unpopular opinion, pandas are the weakest link, and the reason that they're endangered is because they forget how to mate. They just don't mate. They're lazy, and we have to basically force them to. We have to keep them in enclosures and make sure that they mate to prolong their species. And um, honestly, man, if they're not providing anything to the ecosystem— that benefits us because clearly they're not. Um, we're just keeping them around because we think they're cute. I say, like, let evolution do its job. And just let them go, bro. Because sooner or later, we're going to get wind that somebody's kid fell in a panda enclosure. And we're going to have Harambe 2 all over again. So. <clears throat> a cute bite. I mean, let's be honest, for the bunny gang, this fight was probably a big deal. But if we as humans saw these two bunnies trying to throw punches while hopping I around in my wife sink, alone, Clarence. it would be hard not to find it absolutely adorable. Of course, I'm not saying we hey, should jump in what, and break it up. Hairs are Who knows, about out we there, might man. end up with a bunny punch right in the face too, right? Whatever I'm bringing to the table, that's... Who says birds don't need a spa day? These sparrows are taking their grooming routine to a whole new level in the woods. They're into this thing called dirt bathing. Basically, they cover themselves in dirt to keep their feathers it's like being healthy at a mud and bath prevent too spa, much oil buildup. It's quite a sight to see these birds dipping themselves in the dirt, rolling around and flapping their wings to make sure every feather gets coated. They're pretty hygienic for little creatures, don't you think? A Trail Camp Thief So there's this coyote just strolling through the woods when it spots a trail camera nearby. Well, it seems like the camera caught its attention because it kept coming back, trying to snatch it. After a few tries, it actually succeeded and bolted away with the camera as fast and as far as it could. The camera had quite an adventure with the coyote, getting all battered and scratched until its rightful owner found it. A snake. All right. Okay, <clears throat> so that's enough of the trail cams. Like I said, I mistakenly... I we went down a rabbit hole. I was supposed to be looking up cryptids, and somehow we got moved over to, like, cute animals. So, I don't know how they started, and then, whatever. I had a good time, but that's not what this channel is about. So, we're getting rid of the cutesy. Um, instead, we're going to take a look at this. This claims, um, this is a marathon of photos that have claimed to have been leaked from Area 51. So, <laughs> I am... Uh, I'm expecting to see absolute bullshit. Um, but who knows? Maybe I'll see something I can't explain. Um, it's going to be a great time. So, the rest of this video will be from this. 
they don't want you to see. The proof that could change everything. But the clock is ticking. These leaked photos might not last long. Witness them now before they disappear forever. The first image is a screen grab from a video filmed by a U.S. Marine officer on the 20th of April in 2021 on a military base in 29 Palms, California. After the release of the photograph, multiple Marines came forward to confirm the existence of an aircraft, saying that while the photo showcases only the triangle-shaped formation of bright lights, in person the men were able to make out the black body of the aircraft as well. The unidentified flying object is said to have hovered for 10 minutes in the air before it suddenly vanished without any trace. The it men does were seem able to be a hallmark of unexplained aircraft. For being the cause of the mysterious uh, lights, but were shapes, never able to figure out exactly that what they saw that specific photo night. right there. However, it appears the footage well, has not know, been taken very... lightly as the Pentagon has started an investigation into just what exactly was seen like on the, the night of April 20th of 2021 in the skies of... I was going to say, a lot of times, um, lights in the sky near Air Force bases can be chalked up to when they're running like um, tests. They run flare tests. They fire flare shots in a, in a line that slowly descend. And when they do, they develop a curvature and they descend for a very long time. They're very lightweight and it takes them a very long time to come down from those high altitudes. So a lot of times when people see like an arched row of lights in the middle of the night, it's usually these flares descending and it looks like they're passing over um <clears throat> actually that was the original explanation for the phoenix lights and if you don't know what the phoenix lights are um i believe it was the 90s early 2000s late 90s um this this massive v of lights was seen crossing over phoenix arizona um, and it was seen by hundreds maybe even thousands of people um, that was the original explanation, but the Air Force, I, if I remember correctly, the Air Force actually didn't have training going on that night uh, from their base. So that remains unexplained. Um, it's one of the most, in my opinion, credible, unexplained UAP or unidentified aerial phenomena to have happened in the United States um, with enough witnesses and enough um unexplained um, circumstances surrounding it that uh, it makes it, I wouldn't say credible, but it makes it interesting, right? Um, but at, at first glance, I assumed that's what this was, was the Air Force training flare, but they do seem to be too symmetrical. They're too perfectly the same size at every um, intersection in the symmetry. It's like the larger orbs directly across from each other, smaller orbs, and they just, flares wouldn't do that. They'd all be about the same size. Above the 29 Bombs military base. Next up, we have a series of photographs taken by cosmonaut Ivan Vanger in August of 2020, whilst aboard the International Space Station that appears to depict five unidentified flying objects flying at the same speed while maintaining the same distance between each other as well as their surroundings, moving in a straight line just above the Earth's curved horizon visible in the night sky. Vanger, both surprised and curious, took to Twitter, now named X, to share the footage in hopes of getting some clarity as to exactly what he was looking at. In an exciting unfolding of events, his tweet was picked up by the Russian space agency Roscosmos, and a spokesperson revealed that experts were in fact studying the video in an attempt to determine what exactly Vanguard had managed to capture. Did you guys know that Japan was a major hotbed for UFO activity? Because I didn't. But apparently the Pentagon does? In fact, UFO sightings are so common in Japan that its military has reportedly ordered all pilots to disclose any and all identified flying objects directly to the Japanese government. Not only that, but Japanese self-defense forces have also undergone extensive training in relation to UFO sighting protocol. To date, six alleged that encounters looks like between a Chinese and weather UFOs balloon, which have been reported to the Japanese government, one of which was they claim recorded was shot down over North Carolina a couple years ago um, when it made its way, for, I think it was from like Colorado all the way over to North Carolina before they shot it down. But that is, that is a Chinese weather balloon. And I only know this because that's what they told us ours was. Um, and they showed extensive photos of a Chinese weather balloon. <laughs> and that is um, 
like a Chinese based weather balloon system. It depicts 10 white circular balls flying through the skies of Osaka in Japan. While the government has yet to publicly comment on any of the incidents, the update of self-defense protocol alone is pretty telling. The next image was shared by a pretty reputable source, National Geographic. The image was captured by Sergio Loaiza on September 4th of 1971 during an aerial survey of Lake Kote. Everything seemed pretty normal until the photos were taken back to Loaiza's development lab where he noticed something very very strange. A metallic flying aircraft, estimated to have a diameter of 160 feet, was located in the corner of one of the photographs. When he presented the photos to his superiors at the National Geographic Institute, they shut him down quick, forbidding Sergio as well as his colleagues from sharing any information of what they had seen that day. In 1979, however, the photograph was Probably leaked, because it's and the like object old that school, appeared in the image was uh, officially classified as an photos, unidentified flying object. In 2021, the existence proven. of the object was again confirmed after the original copy of the photograph was scanned, and it was revealed that the UFO's presence was more than just a scratch on the lens or a piece of dust in the wind. So what do you think okay. it was? Let okay. us know in the comments. Fair Next, enough. Stuff we have Fair enough, lady. Rebuked me. Um, I would like to see, would like to see your references, your citations for that information. But fair enough. Footage that comes to us straight from the declassifieds. Remember how I told you at the beginning of the video that the government quite literally copped to the fact that they have been hiding the existence of UFOs for years? Well, they did, and they came with receipts. On the 15th of January in 2023, while surveilling an MQ-9 Reaper aircraft, an unidentified aerial presence was captured, moving at speeds unreachable by any of Earth's modern-day technological advances. Not only this, but as the object whizzed through the field of view of the camera lens, it appeared to leave behind an atmospheric wake before disappearing completely into the sky. Guys, if you have any, please leave your UFO and alien stories in the comments. I would love to hear about your experiences with any of these kind of things. Next up, we have arguably the most beautiful alien assuming photograph I have ever seen. The photo was taken in 2004 by a retired Royal Air Force officer while on vacation in Sri Lanka. The site was described as some kind kind of colorful giant donut in the sky with hues of oranges, pinks, purples, and whites. After its capture, the photograph was turned into the Royal Air Force Flying Dales Base in North Yorkshire in England, kind of where it became a, a classified a document held by the Ministry of Defense. The image has since been declassified, of course, and is now available for public viewing, but there is still a lot of mystery surrounding the photo as well as the photographer, as his identity, along with any other information regarding the incident, is pretty much non-existent. I mean, come on, it's a giant glowing light in the sky. You're really telling me no one else saw this and that there's no other information out there other than the fact that the photo exists? Oh, yeah, Kinda and saucy, not only bro. that, but it was deemed classified by the British Ministry of Defense. So I'm thinking there's something else going on here. Okay, I bet you didn't know that another major hotbed for extraterrestrial UFO and unidentified aerial phenomenon activity was Brazil. I mean, I did, but maybe you didn't. In fact, this kind of thing is so popular in Brazil that they have an annual day of recognition for these sightings known as the Night of the UFO, which came to be after a major event took place in 1986. On the night of May 19th, a series of unidentified flying objects were seen in the skies of Brazil, and even more non-visual objects were detected via radar across the skies of four Brazilian states. Of course, at this time, any and all knowledge the government had on it's the like event was extremely tapeworm. classified. In May of 2012, however, Brazil's Freedom of Information Act went into place, after which the public demanded the release of all the documents relating to the incident. The government complied, and not only that released one, the giants, written documents of the, the events, but also a series of photographs depicting strange activity within the skies above Brazil. Although the images of what appeared to be nothing more than squiggles and clouds of smoke didn't provide much clarity, a statement made by the Minister of Aeronautics did. He said, this command is of the opinion that the phenomena are solid and reflect, in a certain way, intelligence, due to the ability to follow and maintain a distance from observers, as well as to fly information. After this statement was made, the Brazilian government has still not been able to confirm exactly what took place the day the night of the UFOs 
was born. Number six, alien photo. Mars is one of the main planets that many people believe could be host to aliens. Hence the term Martians and all the fictitious media that includes alien creatures visiting from Mars. On February 4th of this year, one person online dug up a photo that the Perseverance rover had taken on Mars back in 2021. The title of the blog post being, Alien Figure Watching Mars Rover, 100% Proof of Life UFO Sighting News. The image seems to show a dark figure laying on a large Martian rock. It's distinctly human shaped and darkly colored and stands out from anything else in the area or what we've seen in previous pictures. Man explains in his blog post everything that he believes it to be. There is a person laying down watching the NASA Paradolia, Mars rover from a safe distance photos, away. The person is about one foot tall, 0.3 meters, so and is lying down. You, Pinkish upper something. chest, neck and face, oh, reddish block. hair, wearing a dark suit, but has a gray object over one shoulder. Looks like a backpack of some sort. There are even footprints behind the person leading up to the location they chose to lay down at. If you don't agree with that, then what do you think it could be? Let me Number see five, again. Mercury Ow. UFO. Project Mercury was NASA's first ambitious space mission, which took place back in the early 1960s, which included six manned space flights. But that isn't what we're going to be focusing on. One of the Mercury probes sent out into space took a picture of what appears to clearly be a UFO. A photo that a NASA blogger found in an old disc from the mission that took place in December 1960 appears to show a strange shape that looks like it could be an alien space. <clears throat> so a common misconception about some of these, these like space station photos and like photos from the moon or photos from orbit catching um, a UFO in orbit. <clears throat> so a lot of people don't know this, but we have a lot of fucking trash in our orbit from launching shuttles and all the breakaway parts to breakaway pieces from the space station and dead satellites, current satellites and like the breakaway pieces from satellites and the repair stuff that we've lost that we've let go of. And it's actually so bad that we have the startings of a trash ring around our planet and they don't tell you that, but we do. We have a ring around our planet of debris that we've put up there. So chances are what you just saw was a piece of probably their own like breakaway, like debris from their mission captured in the photo. And that's why it wasn't centerpiece of the photo was because it was most likely known to be there and they didn't think twice about it. They just took a picture because they were so used to the fucking human pollution that we're putting up there our space pollution. So, I, I, my money's on fucking human trash, to be honest. Craft. While many arguments against UFOs are that they're just random space junk, this was at. There's nothing more powerful than you making your thing happen. Really going the beginning of NASA's steps out into space, so there really couldn't have been that many rocket pieces and broken panels. But there could from their current shuttle. Everything broke away. Um, when a rover left the shuttle, pieces had to break apart. There was no retention to those pieces. Those breakaways, those, they, they broke off and they would float around in that direction. Okay. Uh, when the shuttles first exit orbit, they drop the tanks that they're attached to to get out of orbit. They drop those tanks. Then they, there's a bunch of breakaway debris where they, it's a controlled blast that breaks that back half of the shuttle off. Um, so all that debris goes, the back end of the shuttle goes, all of that stuff accumulates. And it wasn't the first mission, I guarantee you. So there was some debris floating out there. And it was probably from that mission. floating around. I the blogger feel says very that he believes this is aliens UFO wanting to pictures. watch one of humanity's biggest steps, not worrying about being seen. You want to convince me? You want to confound me and make me feel stupid and confused? So give me a picture of the James Webb telescope capturing something gigantic and metallic rolling through the cosmos way away from where humans can touch. Then I'll be like, interesting. Interesting. Maybe we maybe we zoom in with our 4K camera up there and check it out a little bit more. 
2016 because this particular craft didn't actually have any humans on it. Number 4. Deleted UFO This same blogger also recently found evidence of NASA purposefully covering up and deleting archival photos that appear to show evidence of aliens. He found a photo of what appears to be a large dark rectangular alien ship flying past the sun, and he also found that NASA is trying to hide it. On his blog he said, I found a huge rectangle UFO shooting past our sun and it's got to be several miles across or more. I tried to find it on another NASA site but I got an error message. Then I tried using official European Space Administration software and again, error message. Then I went into the individual photos online and input my own URL, but these photo times do not exist. That's three different sources all erased from existence. I found it at a fourth source. He says that he won't reveal this other source as he doesn't want it taken down as well. There are 20 different mm -hmm. photos in a row that all show the unidentified craft and he calls NASA out for never saying anything about it. Number 3. Mars Photos I talked about this on a separate list but I also wanted to touch on it here too. We've taken a look at one Mars rover photo already but I want to dive into just how many of these there are. People are constantly picking out unexplained and potentially alien things popping up in these photos of the red planet. One of the most baffling recent images is this one that appears to show some sort of carved out entryway which people believe must lead to some sort of alien hideout on the planet, looking too precise to have been caused by natural weather and environment conditions like NASA claims. There have also been many rocks that appear to be much more than just rocks as they stand out from anything else in the photos, almost looking like a sort of coral growing out from the ground through the dust. There are a lot of them and NASA has attempted to explain away all these photos but there is still just a lot of mystery there. Number 2. The Calvine Photo This one is similar to the Kecksburg file in the way that it is also a UFO encounter from many decades ago that NASA tried to hide away by claiming it was lost. The photo was taken in August 1990 by two hikers near Calvine in Scotland. It shows what is clearly a large diamond shaped vessel flying through the sky being trailed by another airplane. They took pictures and said it appeared to be about 30 meters long. If they can prove that this is a photo that's from the NASA archive, since, since it matters that NASA said it was lost, it must be a NASA photo or at least in their archive. If they can prove this was in the NASA archive and that it was lost and that it wasn't a case of, oh, well, we debunked this, so we got rid of it, that's interesting. That is interesting. Do I believe it's extraterrestrial? Probably not. It kind of, I feel like it might be, I don't know. It depends. I want to say maybe like a, like Russian tech. Um, a lot of people are doing like, ex for a long time, we've all done like experimental aircraft. And in fact, um, the, the black bomber, the, you know, the black Hawks, um, every, every piece of flying tech that the U S has come out with the SR 71, um, the stealth bomber. That's what I was referring to. Uh, with the black bomber, um, they have all been mistaken for some kind of UFO at one point or another. Um, so it would be interesting. I would like to look into it because if it is a UAP, if it is, I mean, clearly it's a UAP. It's an unidentified aerial phenomena or it's an unidentified flying object right now. Uh, but it's interesting. I want to see more. I want to see if if they can prove that this was in the NASA archive, give me some, some article to go to or something. Like, yeah, it's interesting. It apparently then shot straight up into the sky and disappeared, never to be seen again. The photo was first given to the newspaper and then handed over to the Ministry of Defense, and then it was never discussed again and the photo apparently went missing. In October of 2021, the or Scottish just, Operations oh, Records book was it. checked and there was no account of anything having been spotted in the sky on that day. One determined individual, however, managed to track down the lost photo and about it they said, the Calvine photograph stands 
as one of the biggest mysteries in UFO history. Finally revealed after 32 years, it shows that answers only bring new questions. Number 1. Space Nudes In May of this year, it was revealed to the public that NASA was going to be sending a message out to aliens, calling it the Beacon in the Galaxy. It's a binary coded space message news. that includes details about our planet and human life that is going to be shot into space for anybody to find. One of these images was revealed to be an image of what a genetically male and female human look like, and yes, it has all the details. It also includes a diagram of gravity so aliens know which part of us is the top and which is the bottom. Other images included are the solar system diagram, a map of Earth's land mass, and depictions of things like mountains and trees. So yes, NASA is actually sending our nudes out to space. The fact that they are doing this shows that at least a small part of the organization believes that aliens are out there to receive this message. Obviously, <clears throat> like I think at this point, um, the majority of the U.S. of the world population probably believes and understands that it is almost in mathematically impossible for us to be the only planet with life on it. I agree. I don't agree that extraterrestrials have visited us, and if they have, it was a very long time ago for purposes that we're not expecting. It's probably more like a not really an interfere with our timeline type deal, but they probably showed up and we were probably like the, the terrarium of the sector of the cosmos like we were like oh well, let's go by and watch those wild animals um <clears throat> it's kind of like when when we go and visit the tribes like the new guinea tribe and stuff it's like oh well they're inferior to modern civilization it's so weird that they don't have any modern technology and they have traditional customs that's probably how they looked at us um but yeah, I absolutely believe that there are thousands of planets with intelligent life. And at some point in the very near future, we're going to, it's, there's no way we're not going to eventually come across one. And, you know, they may be most likely too far away for us to actually communicate with, with our current technology, but eventually we're going to come across one. Um, but no, I don't think they've been here. And um, I don't think what she's saying, I think is implying that, people at NASA think they've been here and I don't think that's what's happening um, but I mean I could be wrong I could be wrong I want to believe like in X-Files I want to believe the truth is out there um, unfortunately I don't know I do think they have been here I don't think they are currently coming here uh, <clears throat> but I don't understand what sending like aliens dick pics have to do with these UFO sightings in our number 10 spot, we have Rahman Manuel. Chicago Mayor Rahman Manuel may be a shapeshifter reptile. I'll let you decide. In September 2012, during a press conference, viewers noticed that his eyes seemed to transform into, well, I'm not quite sure I know how to describe this because it's terrifying. <laughs> Around his eyes, we see darkness of some sort, and suddenly his actual eyes become enlarged. What the fuck? Honestly, whatever happened wasn't human. <laughs> Did he reveal himself as a shapeshifter reptile? I'm thinking yes. If you're enjoying this video so- I think like an editing problem. <sighs> That's fucking creepy though. Don't twist your face up like that around me. I'll scream like a little girl. I was not expecting tonight to go the way it did. Um, judging by the last few videos, I was expecting to be an absolute cynic during the whole, the whole course of the video. Um, but that first video kind of deviated very quickly from cryptids. Uh, but I shouldn't complain. I liked the marble deer. I don't remember the name of it. If you do, please leave it in the comments um, so I know for future reference. It was majestic. And I liked the, uh, the spa mud bath birds. That was kind of cool. Which, uh, which alien photo, if any, did you believe? And if you have a differing opinion on whether or not they visited us, uh, please feel free to explain why and challenge my opinion in the comments below. Um, I'm always open to ambiguity, and it's a good time. I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun. Uh, yeah. So with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in tonight, and I uh, appreciate you taking the time to sit with me and look at dumb stuff. Uh, until next time, take care of yourselves.